super we are live on this and we can begin this meeting now i'm just going to spotlight myself i am thrilled to have kylie for our this wonderful session and i am so happy that all of you all have taken out the time and have come to attend this session that is going to be most engaging uh, kylie has already shared so many resources with uh, all the co-host school teachers and she is about to you know give you like a bag full of uh, things that you can take back home and do with your children these activities can even be conducted online so i'm sure this session is going to be full value <laughs> But before we jump into the session, just a few housekeeping announcements. We have limited capacity on Zoom. So just in case your teachers, your friends, your, uh, you know, coordinators cannot join us on Zoom, please ask them to join us on our Facebook page. A lot of co-host schools are also streaming this session live on their pages, so you can watch it there as well. In case you cannot see or hear us, I would suggest you log out and log back in the same way, or you can always join us back on Facebook. We will continue the session as is, unless there is a problem with mine or Kylie's video. I have muted all participants, so in case you have a question or if you want to comment, you can do that in the chat section or the Q&A section and uh, i will be spotlighting kylie's uh, you know video in just a moment i want to take this uh, opportunity to introduce myself i am farida bhavani founder of chryselect education solutions if you want to know the contributions we make in the early childhood space you can go and connect as on our website www.chrisselect.com. I'm also the territory head of uh, the Mumbai Early Childhood Association. We have a lot of educators and teachers who are joining us on our Facebook page who have come through ECA. We also have some really, uh, we also have a lovely surprise. We have uh, a lot of teachers who have come from uh, the Kashmir government schools, thanks to Kesarji, who has uh, made this possible. I welcome all these teachers for this session, and I hope uh, this session is going to add some value uh, to your teaching practice. We have um, we are going to be co-hosting this session with uh, the following schools: Sri Balakrishna C. Valya Pre-Primary School. Orange International Play School, Kashmir, Hello Kids Chain of Preschools, Riverstone International Chain of Schools, Clay Chain of Preschools, Vatsalya Legacy Preschool, Jaipur. Now, I want you to take a deep breath because I am about to introduce Miss Kylie Joseph and she has a big long list of credentials and I'm just going to read them out. So. Ms. Kylie Joseph is an accomplished composer, a children's music recording artist, a songwriter, a performer, a children's theater director, and a live television performer. She is also a preschool educator, and most importantly, she is the founder of Felt Song Stories. You know, Kylie is uh, not only well versed in musical creativity, but she also has this knack and secret shortcuts that, uh, you know, bring out the best in children who are in these really formative years. So I'm going to spotlight Kylie now. Welcome, Kylie. We are so honored to have you um, on Chryselect. Thank you so much for having me today, Farida. This is really an honor to be here. And it's a pleasure to present the stuff that I uh, had uh, made, especially for young children. 
So I started uh, all uh, these curriculum-based activities uh, like 20 years ago. And I started it really? with one activity and the activity was so successful and the kids liked it so much that they said, let's do another one. So I went back to my drawing board and I didn't stop <laughs> making it. <laughs> Ever since I managed to make more and more kits. Um, I'm the founder of Felt Song Stories and this is a curriculum based activities with felt sets and stories and music. And the idea of presenting something that has felt and a song and stories together really um, have, uh, have a product that teaches children in the best way for them. And when I say that, I mean, because some of us are auditory learners. So we learn best when we hear uh, a lecture or a song or a story. Some of us are visual learners. So we focus more on the visual stuff we see. In my, in my case, it will be a puppet or a felt set like this, and I'm going to tell you more about this. And everyone can benefit from learning with movement. So we have three modalities going at the same time. We have the visual with the felt, we have the auditory aspect with the songs and the stories, and we have the kinesthetic uh, aspect of the of the uh, activity with the hand motions and the body movement and all this together really helps children learn in the best way for them. So if sometimes you see that you are reading a book and some of the kids start to wander around, you know you have to show them the book itself with the pictures and all that and then yes. they, and they, they, they are back in, in business. So when you add the story to the, to the picture and the music together, you have a formula that really connects with children. And the music is very special too, just by itself as being in a format of creating a song, because in a song you can do so much more than with a regular speech or a story, because a song allows you to repeat elements over and over and it sounds okay. Well, you can, you can sing. Like if I sing the wheels on the bus, I'll say the wheels on the bus go round and around, round and around, right. round and around. It makes no sense when I say it, but when I sing it, it does make sense. So in the story, you have the element of rhythm, of rhymes, of repetition. And what's better than repetition when you're trying to teach new ideas, new concepts, and new subjects. So you have yes. all these really like very special elements and when you combine them together, you can help children learn different subjects, whether it'll be colors or numbers or uh, different concepts like social emotional interaction, cooperation. Uh, I also teach like a math concept with like counting, sorting and all that. But I have a presentation of what is it about and I want to show you because <laughs> you don't yes. have enough time and I brought like a lot of time. I know, of we are waiting to see. <laughs> yeah, so really the felt pieces are uh, characters made of felt. Um, the, this one is, uh, is already drawn for me and made for me, but the one that I made is something I see it cut, paste, you can do it, you can see uh, you, it's very easy to make. I'm gonna show you stuff that I made and, and what you need is a felt board. This is really a foam board, it's very, it's very light. You don't wanna use those heavy boards in the classroom that you can buy because if they slide forward, they're heavy, in my opinion, dangerous. But this so, doesn't weigh um, anything. And can I you ask? Is, really, it's a foam board, it doesn't weigh anything. You cover it with felt, and then uh, you can use it for, for a long time. It can be small like this. I carry this one to school because it's easy, but you can make them bigger, like in a board like this size. That's mm. also a foam board. And, uh, and then all you do is you cut the felt pieces, you put them on the board. Now you don't need to play an instrument like I do. Your voice is an instrument. And it's a powerful instrument because you can use so many different ways with your voice, whether you, you're singing loud, you're singing softer, you, you say the little 
faster or a little slower, you pause. There are a lot of different colors that you can produce with your voice and it's gonna draw their attention and they're gonna stay with you. So I'm gonna start with this one. It's a story called The Giant Carrot. Wonderful. The different version, it's a folk tale. It's a bit other versions that you might know, maybe the giant turnip or the enormous potato, but they're all the same origin from like uh, 1865 by a Russian author. And this is called the giant, the giant carrot. And this is <clears throat> my farmer. And this farmer grows different vegetables. He grows tomatoes and onions and carrots. And when they were all ready, he picked all the tomatoes and he picked up all, he pulled out all the onions and all the carrots, all but one, that one. This carrot was stuck in the ground and no matter how much he tried to pull it out, he couldn't pull it out. So what do you do when you can't do something by yourself? You know what? I start out different ideas of what you can do. They'll bring this tool and they'll bring that tool and it creates a whole different ah. thing. But then we get to the idea that if you can't do something by yourself, you can call someone to help you. And that's what he's going to do. <laughs> when we work together. Along came the mouse, squeak, squeak, to pull the carrot out. He held on to the rest of them. What did he do? Did he pull so hard, so hard? We're going to pull you out. Everybody say pull. Or the little girl, the carrot or the dog and the cat and the mouse. 
And obviously this is so big, it's a giant carrot. Of course he couldn't put it out by himself. And then we think, what can we make from carrots? So they offer me a list of foods that we can create with carrots. And there's so many things you can do. You can teach this when you teach about planting, when you teach about spring, when you teach about people who do different tasks and jobs. So we are very grateful to have our farmers who grow things. What else do they grow? What else they have? So it's a whole thing you can teach with just one kit like that. Brilliant. Also, what other um, foods grow under the ground, what grows above the ground. There's so many different possibilities. So I have one question, Kylie. Uh, yes. you know, uh, I want to know, uh, how did the carrot go inside uh, that little pot? How, how do you make that pot so the carrot stays inside the pot? Or, or stays yes. inside the ground? How, oh, that's how a do great you make question. I uh, sewed together a pouch. Oh, you sew a pouch and then together I with a felt? Little, it's a pouch made of felt. And because okay. everything is, say, uh, the felt sticks to felt, but I want to be able to pull the carrot out without the pouch to fall down. So I put, I don't huh. know if you can see, but I put a little yes. Velcro. Velcro, yes. And yes. then the Velcro yes. sticks even better than just the felt because the felt board and the felt pieces stick very nicely to each other. If you want to start right. moving it like this with the, with the carrot, it's better to put a little bit of uh, Velcro in the back and then right. I just roll the carrot like this and I put it in the pan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's very easy to sew felt. It's much easier than sewing fabric. <laughs> it's an <Yes>. easy thing. <laughs> no, it really is a very so easy um, I think. I get, Kylie, that uh, these felt boards can be made at home because uh, the ones that are available may be very heavy. Uh, and if they're, uh, you know, you don't want any untoward accidents happening in the classroom. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I, in the classroom, I use that, the one that I just show you, this one. And it's light uh, as a feather. It's so light. Yes. It's a foam yes, yes. board. It's, and I cover it with with a piece, be a big piece of felt, and then when it gets a little fuzzy, yes. I put another layer on it. And all you need is hot glue ah. gun, hot glue gun, yes, a foam yes. board, and a felt by the yard. So perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna show this you. This is wonderful. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna show you uh, the most beloved character of my students. Her name is Cinnamon Bear. Really. And this oh. is, I did it, you can see it's handmade. It's made yes. of felt, like everything else here. And you know how kids come to school and they're very uh, afraid in the beginning, the first week, they cry, they're separating and from their parents for a few hours and they're not sure where they are. So Cinnamon comes to school today and she's very, so I reinforce this mantra and they get the idea that school is a nice place, is a happy um, place. So here is Cinnamon Bear. And when you go to school, you need to get ready. You need to put on your clothes. So let's see what she's going to wear when she comes to school. Her name is Cinnamon. You know why I named her Cinnamon? Because her color reminds me of the spice that I like so much, cinnamon spice. So that's why she's called Cinnamon. Cinnamon is coming to school today. School today. School today. Cinnamon is coming to school today. She is very happy. And I'm asking everyone to make a happy face. Okay, Cinnamon, if you want to go to school, you need to wear, what is this? A shirt. We're learning about how to dress up when you go to school. Cinnamon is wearing a shirt today. Say a shirt today. A shirt today. Cinnamon is wearing a shirt today. She is very happy today. Cinnamon, a shirt is a good start, but you also need to wear. What is this? Pants. I have pants. I have a dress. I have all sorts of things. I may sit down and cut, cut all the different things so we can oh. put a dress. Oh, so they change. Pants. They change every day. I can change, yeah, we change. Cinnamon ah. is wearing a 
and I can repeat address today, address today, address today. Cinnamon is wearing a dress today. She is very happy. And when you go to school, you need to put something on your feet. What do you wear on your feet? Shoes. shoes. That's right. So she has shoes and she has a hat. She's almost ready to go to school, but not before I'm going to give her a backpack. <laughs> oh, that is so her cute. Initial, <laughs> and I even found a little teddy bear. So oh. you see him? And I put it in her bag. And she goes to school. Just like that. Oh my God, this is so cute. And then in the winter time, we want to wear something. I know you don't have winter where you are, Farida. <laughs> but in Kashmir you do. So India is a large country. <laughs> so this is not warm enough for winter. We need to wear a sweatshirt. We need to wear pants. And we need to wear a jacket. Yes. The jacket on my body will keep me warm. The jacket on my body will keep me warm in the winter. What happens in the winter? It's cold outside. It will keep me warm. What else do you wear in the winter? Mittens. Oh, oh mittens. you wear a hat. Mittens. mittens. How do you wear your mittens? Do you put them on your ears? No. <laughs> Put them, put them on your feet? No. Oh, on your hand. On one hand, both mittens? Let's see. Yeah. And of course they scream, no, no. no. On the other hand. So I move both to the other hand. And they say, no, no, that's not good. <laughs> and then we realize that we need one on each hand. So one on this hand and one on the other hand. One to one correspondence. To put on their mittens. Now I have a hat, a warm hat. Now the hat has a pom-pom, so it's a little heavy. So I put yes. also I put a little Velcro in the back. Can you see it? Yes, 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 yes. We can see it. And then it goes like this. But sometimes I put it here and they don't like it because it's not right. <laughs> and sometimes on one side, sometimes on the other side. And then we realize it has to be here. And we need boots. Boots. And that's how you dress up for, for winter. So that's our cinema. Wow. <laughs> In some classes, they like it so much. Every child wanted to make their own cinnamon bear. And they did. They sat down with the teacher and they did it. It took some time, but everyone managed, you know, they have to use their skills with the scissors and all that. Yes. But they all and they did that. Cinnamon. And when I came to the classroom, they made a surprise for me. What do I see there? No, I thought somebody. Oh, how lovely. No, no. Yeah. So this is my cinnamon bear. And this is, a, oh, I forgot to show you. She has also a scarf. <laughs> oh. And that's And her. this is just so wonderful to make. Uh, uh, you know, it can be yes, made it's, by it's teachers at home. Yeah. Yes. I yes, sat down yes. one day I, and I made all these, you know, dress up stuff for her. And I, it was fun. And the, the, the nice thing about it, you know, let me show it again. It, you don't have to be an artist, you know? It doesn't have yes. to be perfect. And just because it's not perfect, it is, it's magical for the kids. It's not store-bought. It's not like design. The colors yes. don't have to match. You yes. know, you just make it. It doesn't have to match with the colors. You make it and you put it together and the kids just love it just because you made it and it's special. It's not something, yes. that, you know, that, that, they, that you bought for them. It's and, uh, and the good thing about felt is that you don't have to kind of sew it once it's cut, right? It, it can just be. You don't have to do what? Stitch it once it's cut. It, no, it, no, yeah. that's the idea. You put it, you cut it, and it sticks to and, fit. And it sticks. Yes, yes. That's it. It sticks to fit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I... Um, I have, I know you're teaching about frogs, you said, and different animals. We have so, the rainy season in uh, Mumbai and, uh, you know, uh, the uh, in certain parts of the country. Yes, we do. Okay. So I have here three different um, sets of eggs. Oh. I have eggs in the pond. 
eggs in the sand. You see that? And three eggs up on the, on the, on the tree, tree in the nest, right? And this yes. is called in the springtime because here it happens in the spring where animals mm. start to give birth to their new one to their babies. Yes. So these are three sets of eggs that are going to hatch and we're going to see what they're going to be. Ready? Yes. <laughs> You can leave it in their centers if they're old enough. Obviously, they should be old enough to handle things. But the nice thing about it, if you leave it on their centers, on a felt board or on the table, they see the transformation immediately. Like if you had th three different eggs and three different cards of something, they might mix and match the wrong beginning and end. But when you just turn it this way, you know exactly what these eggs are going to transform into. And then, of course, you have the, um, the, the stages of uh, an egg, a tadpole, and a frog. Ah. And the blue eggs here are robin eggs. So that's part of the transformation. And we talk about animals that are, you know, transforming and all that. So that's the kit I do for that. It's wonderful. It's just kind of opens up your world to that many ideas that are possible, no? And uh, you. Uh, you talk about, you know, eggs and uh, reptiles come out from eggs, birds come out of eggs, amphibians. This is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I know that he has um, a... This is a song that actually you can have it there. I think something fell on the floor. I also have a template that I put online that you can download of little puppets, little oh. finger puppets. How cute is that? <laughs> yeah, and I have it here. I just have a gazillion different things. Uh, I have it here on the website. You can download it. Okay, and you I will send it. this. Yeah. And you color it and then you laminate it so it'll stay longer, obviously. And okay. then you see this part here on the side, the bottom, mm. you, it's, like a, it's like a ring. You attach one side to the other and it's like a ring. So I this is, they can... Um, I just want to tell all the particip participants uh, that uh, this is available on Kylie's website. So if you can go on her website and you can download uh, these finger puppet uh, printouts and yeah. make these yourself. Yeah, and you can sing all McDonald or other things like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I have all McDonald kit here also, and it's very cute the way I do it. I want you to see how I do it. I have the barn 
Okay. And then I have uh, uh, the animals. Okay. Ah. And what I do with it is I, uh, well, you're going to do it on a small board. So you're going to turn it and then you hide the animals and go like this, for instance. You oh. hide the animals. And all they see is just part of the animal. In their mind, they have to make up the rest of the animal by showing them just the legs, four legs, brown legs, and wolves. And they have to guess who is hiding in the barn. Ready? Yes. Old MacDonald had a farm. And on the farm we have, uh, who do we have on the farm? What do you think? That could be a dog with four legs. Yes. It could be a cat with four legs. And that's why I say it's very important not to sing the song all the way through, because then it goes, shh. <laughs> you stop, you, stop yes. you ask, it's interactive. You want to do it with them. It's an activity. So now we're There's going to knock so on much the door. Engagement. Everybody knock on the door. Knock on the door. Okay. <laughs> knock on the door. You have to say, open the barn. Say, so say, open the barn. Open the barn. You open the barn. They guess what it is. It's a horse. Oh, it's a horse. With the name they hear and the name they bear. Here and there and there and there. And now we have another animal hiding in the barn. Can you guess what that is going to be? Let's see. Oh, I see two little feet. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Two little feet. Guess what it is? Let's see what it is. We knock on the door. Say knock, knock. Knock, knock. In the barn. Open the barn. It's open Fun and see who is hiding in the barn today. Let's see. Uh, it, it's a duck. It's a duck. <laughs> what does a duck say? Wait. Quack. Here and a quack, 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 you have a farm animal unit, you can definitely do this. You can even do it every day because they're going to ask you to do it every day. This and is brilliant. Only Velcro, it sticks to the felt just because they're both the same fuzzy material. True, true, true. So I loved the way uh, you incorporated, uh, you know, memory association into this activity where you show them only part of the animal and then they kind of have to guess uh, what the animal is. This almost gets a sense of engagement in the song. And you're so right, having it, you know, sing it to the end. And then, uh, uh, you know, th there's not as much engagement. So thank you so much, Kylie. This is absolutely lovely. <laughs> well, you can sometimes hide just the ears. Ah. <laughs> just the ears. Oh. Or just the tail, you know? Ah, nice. Like this. Yeah, yes. sometimes bring different pictures when they get to be an expert because so, they're going to learn it quick. So you can bring new ones mm. and it's really easy. Okay, now I'm going to show you my, one of my favorite things. It's about a snowman. I don't know if you, uh, some of you have snow, right? Yes. So I have five snowmen. One, two, three, four, five and I have a cloud and a fluffy cloud so uh -huh. math we're counting them one two three four five and the song goes backwards so from five to zero True. so we have our counting then we have colors they all have bows but the bows are not the same color right so True. we learn the colors yellow red blue green and purple then we ask, I ask everyone to put on their hats, to put on their <laughs> bow, to Those. put on their, they all have a uh, carrot nose. And <laughs> so now we can, uh, there's another thing we can learn. Um, what is the same and what is different? The same and different. Right. They're all exactly the same, except. Yes, the bows are different. The bows, that's right. So that's <laughs> not the concept of the same and different. 
And now I'm going to sing just the beginning so you'll get it. It's also available for the downloads there. Five little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat. Put your hats on. And a brightly colored moon. Five little snowmen dressed up for a show. Now they are ready. Where will they go? Look what's going to happen. Wait till the sun shines. Wait till the sun shines. Make the sun. Then they Uh oh, somebody's melting. Here's our science lesson. Down through the field with the melting, melting snow. Now we hide the sun and we count them again. One, two, three, four. Make four. Ready? Four little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat, put your hat on, and a brightly colored moon. Four little snowmen dressed up for the show. again one two three and then it goes on until the last snowman and at this point when the kids know the song very well i ask them to stand up and then when this little last snowman will melt and all the kids gonna go down all the way down ready one little snowman standing all alone he has a hat put your hands on and a brightly colored bow. one little snowman for a show. Now he is ready. Say, where will he go? Wait till the sun shines. Till the sun shines. And he will go. Uh oh, everyone put your hands up. Let's melt together. Down through the field with the melting, melting snow. <laughs> you have your colors, your counting, uh, your science, the same and different, all in one kit. And uh, it's also a nice activity to do as they, you know, show you, count with you, with their fingers, and they melt together. So it's really brilliant. It's a lot of fun. It's so nice. And, uh, you know, I think felt stories uh, is such a lost art because when we come to uh, you know early childhood uh, pedagogies, you're looking at uh, stories, you're looking at uh, puppets, and uh, now there's so much technology. Uh, felt stories almost seems to be like a lost art, and very few teachers uh, actually engage with this pedagogy and use this in their classroom. And these are such brilliant ideas. I hope teachers are taking full advantage of this session and going to use these activities at uh, you know at school with your children and in your e classrooms as well <laughs> great okay um i have something that the kids really really love oh. and it's very special to them too everyone has a birthday once a year and when the kids have a birthday then they always remind me Today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. <laughs> they get to decorate their own birthday cake. Oh. So I have some. Um, I used to have two side cake, one with chocolate and one with vanilla. <laughs> but oh. this is a chocolate cake with all kind of decorations, M&M candies, and um, uh, these are cookies. So they can decorate it the way they want to decorate it. But I say to them, <clears throat> before we decorate the cake, I send them a letter in the mail. And how do you send letters? Um, oh. You have to put it, 
Yeah, this is an envelope made of felt, so there are no paper cuts and none of that. It's very safe. Yes. <clears throat> and this is part of social studies. Uh, sometimes we are, when we do that, we have classroom interacting with each other and sending letters to from one class to the next. A, it's a True. fun thing to receive. We don't have that so much anymore. It's true, a fun true. thing to receive a letter from a yes. friend. So I tell them there's a lot of different reasons to send a card. Sometimes you want to send a card when someone is sick, get well card. Sometimes it's for a holiday. Sometimes someone moves to a different uh, city and you want to wish them well. And obviously you want to give them a birthday card. So I have ah. that always with me and I fold it and I put it inside. <clears throat> and then I put my name on the left side because if I'm gonna put it on the right side, it's not going anywhere. So then I, I made different stamps, one for mm. each season. So you can have all kinds of stamps. I have a fall season, I have, uh, uh, you know, butterflies. Summer. Yes. Yeah. So I, I tell them that today I'm going to send that they wait for this all year. <laughs> this is like they're special. They get to be uh, featured in the classroom and they love it. You know, some um, kids they have everything, but they go home and they take this card and they stay with this. I heard of children sleeping with a card. I don't know this oh. something because it's personal. Yes. You know? and, so I let's think about how you send a card. Ready? This is how I send a card to a special friend. Write something special to show how much I care. My name goes on the left side. The same goes on the right. right. inside. Whose birthday is it? Let's say it's Joseph's birthday. So I'm going to bring Joseph in and he's going to receive this and I'm going to sing happy birthday to my friend. Happy birthday to my friend. Happy birthday to my special friend. Happy birthday to my friend. Happy birthday to my friend. where they decorate their own cake. Oh. <laughs> everyone is going to do it differently. I cut some cookies and some M&Ms. And of mm. course, I have birthday candles. These are Oreos. Oh. And how old are they? Let's say they're four or five. So we're counting one, two, three, four, or five years old. And mm. we take a picture with them. We send it home, the picture. And they take the card. They put it in their backpack. And this is their special moment. So every time I come, if there is a <laughs> birthday, they right away come to me. <laughs> Not <laughs> birthday, boys or girls. Also, the children, they don't forget. We have a birthday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Birthdays are special. so special. Yes. Yeah. yes also, yes. you got your social studies with... Mm. Um, you know, with the male unit, but also when you teach community helpers, right? True. So you teach community True. helpers, mailmen is one of the yes. community helpers True. True. and uh, a way of communication. There's endless possibilities. And also like I said, early literacy skills. Early literacy yeah. skills. Yeah, absolutely. 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 Yeah. So you have all these things. Kids like to do things. Let them design their own stamps. Okay. Now, if you want the stamp to stick and not to fall when we handle it, because now we're handling it with a nice. little Velcro in the back. Ah, nice. Velcro in the back. We'll hold this, we'll hold that. I mean, I've been okay. using this for years. Okay, so I just want to ask you, Kylie, when you, when you made this envelope, 
uh, uh, did you uh, stick the edges of the felt together or did you s stitch it up? How did you make the envelope? You can stitch it up. I just put glue. Right? Oh, you, you just put glue. Correct, correct. This yeah, is this brilliant. I yeah. fold. You see, that's a one piece yeah. that I fold in half. Mm -hmm. More than half because uh, this is like this piece yes. times two and this piece is, is one piece of here. I got it. Yeah. 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 So you don't even need to stitch anything. Just use hot glue and you're done. Perfect. That's Perfect. it. That's it. Very easy. And it's really, you can use it as long as yeah. you, you know, put it back with all the pieces. Yes. If you want to lose it, then you're, you're good to go. You're good to go. I can see I how have... meticulous oh, you yeah. are in storing your uh, these things because, I mean, we take so much effort in making them. It's, 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 fair that you need to kind of uh, save them and keep them as a resource. Yeah, for the yeah. Next it year. does take time to make it, but you know, the good part is if you're in childhood, you're going to teach that over and over. True, because true. counting and colors and seasons and science and math, this is something you're going to teach over and over. True. And I true. tell teachers sometimes if they're in one school, you know, different teachers can do different sets and then they can share, you know? Yes. So that's yes. one way to start with few things at the time. I had obviously enough time to make every time add another thing, but mm. uh, way to share and then you have more. You start out with more things and then you share it with the teachers until you get to your own collection. If mm. you're, if you're into that. Um, I want to show you something easy, but it's also on the website for you to download. That's a song called Bingo. I think everybody's familiar with that, right? Yes, yes, we are familiar with Bingo. Right? It's very, it's a, it's a very known song. And the kids love it. I put it on a board just because we're doing a Zoom uh, session. Mm. But I will always put it on the floor. I'll have them sitting in a half a circle. And then mm. sitting in a way that they can see, everyone can see clearly facing the letters the correct way. And then, uh, because when we teach bingo, they don't know when to sing, when to clap. So, um, you know, it, so when we sing it, I have these cards, I laminated them, and you, you'll see it, it's on the free download section of the website. And yes. um, I'll show you how it goes. There was a farmer had a clock, bingo was his name, with single letters, B I N G. We need to clap and not say B, right? How do yes. we do that? Oh, let me see. We are going to flip over. I mean, I put it here on the sticker, but we don't need to. On the other side of the B, there are hands. So now what do we do? We sing it again and clap for the first letter. We clap when you see hands. We say the letters when you see the letters. Ready? There was a farmer hand. Excellent. We got the drift. Yes. Okay. And now we have yellow. I made it in different colors. So uh, if it's all red, it's going to be confusing. Did I clap it? I didn't clap it. I don't remember. But if you have red, yeah. you have yellow, and then you have green, and you have blue, and they're all different colors, so they know they're clapping on the red, clapping on the yellow, clapping on the blue. It's very easy. And then they clap when they see the hand, and they say the letters. And at the end, of course, it's only clapping, the end of the song, right? When we turn mm. over all, all of them. It's the last one is just clapping. Yeah, don't do it. Don't put it like this on a sticker. I just did it for you for today. But it's supposed to be on the floor, all on the floor. In the end, it will look like this on the floor. You just turn it over. And you say, before we turn it over, what are we going to do now? They say, turn over the letter this or turn over the letter that. So, and you can Ooh. do it with names. Let's say if you have a name of something else that has five letters, you can change that too. 
you know, do different letters maybe. Absolutely, absolutely. Excellent, yes. Yes. Lovely, so, lovely, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you know the wheels on the bus? Yes, the wheels okay, on the bus. Okay, that's of one of the kids' favorite. And it's good, it's a puzzle. We sing it. Uh -huh. You see the whole thing? Yes, we can see the whole thing, good. yeah. Okay, good. This is good for spatial relations, like okay. uh, before, after, you know, behind, and all that. So uh, let's see. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Come on, round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. You know who is coming next? The people. The people on the bus go up and down. Can everybody do this? The people up and down. 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 Who sits behind the people? Behind would be right over here. That's behind. Behind these people, there is. A baby. Do you see the baby? Yes, we can see the baby. What is the baby doing? He's crying. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> the baby on the bus. Who sits behind the baby? That will be over here. There is a grandmother and a grandfather, and they say, shh, baby, please don't cry. You are too loud. The grandmother on the bus goes, shh, shh, shh. And that's how it goes. Who sits in the front? Where is the front? Who sits in the front? Who the sits in the front? Driver. The driver. So we're not singing the song without a stop. We're not singing it like a performance. It's not a performance. This is an activity. You have to have fun and enjoy yourself. And when you're having fun, the kid's going to have fun. True. When you're stopping and asking a question, it forces them to interact, to answer, to be involved, to be engaged. And so now we're having this, uh, the driver, what's his job? His job is to drive. That's it. He yes. drives the bus around. Here comes the door. Open and shut. Go like yes. this. Open, Open and, and shut. shut. Open and shut. Open and shut. Open and shut. The bus goes open and shut. And then it started to rain. And when it rained, the driver put on these. You know what these are called? Windshield wipers. Well, yes, wipers. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. swish. Swish, 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 swish. Wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. And then we have the red signals, and they go blink, blink, blink. Boink. Yes. The signals on the bus go blink, 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 blink. The signals on the bus go blink, blink. Mommies and daddies say, I love you. And we have, oh. of, course, of course, we have the horn on the bus. The horn. Beep, beep. <laughs> the horn on the bus. Bus goes beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 this is great. So, you know, I can see that every first story that you've done, uh, even though the pedagogy was the same, uh, the learning objectives uh, were so diverse. Here, we have part and whole coming together, the spatial relations, uh, the, uh, and there are sounds, there are actions interwoven. This is so amazing, uh, Kylie. We have just five 
very, very little time left, Kylie. I want to quickly ask you if you can share a few, um, you know, ideas where we can kind of make music at home. Um, are there any resources that we can kind of uh, use at home to make musical instruments? I've seen oh, a few. Yeah, I, bought, I bought a couple of things here with me today. Okay. Um, of course, you know, you can uh, get a, all kind of containers and put things inside. Yeah. Uh, like, um, you know, different things. They have like a big container of oatmeal and you mm. have to feel it very well. You can put rice inside. You can also put beads to make different yes. sounds because of the things you have. I, I have today here two spoons. Okay. Like a sponge in there. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a packaging material. I don't know if you yes, can see. Yes, I can see. I can see the sponge. Yeah. So it, it's a little bit it's a little bit squishy, but not too much. It doesn't give too mm. much. Enough mm. for the spoon to click. Ah, okay. It's a spoon. Everyone can find it. Yes. 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 So this is something everyone can make. I just put a piece of felt. You know, I'm into felt. Absolutely, yeah. I put a piece of felt and I stuck it together with the felt with hot glue gun. Ah, like, so it, it, it like probably two, three years now. Um, and hmm. I brought also something nice here that I can show you. Uh, these are window screens. Okay. The window screens for a small window, and uh -huh. I didn't want it to open because you know they're 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 the kind that you can attach to a window, whether it's a small window or a big window, and they go in and out. So you can yes. attach it to the size you need. I didn't want mm -hmm. that to happen. It's way too dangerous. So I tight taped it all around, so it kind of stays like this. It doesn't move. It doesn't slide. It doesn't close or open like this. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a window screen at home you know, uh, that, hmm. that uh, protect them from the bugs to come in, right? So everybody yeah. knows what it is. It's something- It's an insect a... shield, right? Uh, insect shield that you put on windows. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, we call it a screen. Yeah, same thing. And hmm. uh, so we have this, which really we use for, for one thing that we all, need, we all know, it's for, for the window. And I have a brush that we use to clean ah. dishes. Yes, yes. So when you put them together, we make music. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, I can, I can see that. Yeah. So I have two sets of this because now I really have like two here and I have two with the other one. I made it with mm. pink. And mm. And a lot of and four brushes, so I can have four four kids children doing it at one the same station. time. Yeah, because I had different stations with different things in it. Ah. Um, I put a little bit of like glue here, hot glue gun, little dots, so they can sense it. It has a little more sensory. Yes, 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 and yes. So this is something that uh, I created also for the kids. Um, ah. Yeah, we have a. I made also, um, I took shells and I made okay. like wind chimes out of shells. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, so they sense it, they feel it. It makes beautiful ah. sound. We got a little tangled here right now, but you know, you understand. Yeah, I, I, we, get, we get the idea, we get the idea. Yes. We get the idea and I put some things in there. And of course I put a little mermaid here. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. The little mermaid is everything. You know, um, I have to tell the participants that uh, Kylie is so innovative. Uh, there's one of her videos where she has made uh, used PVC pipes and strung them together and used the soles of uh, slippers to make music. I'm gonna share that on my page. Uh, so in case you have outdoor spaces in your school, this is just brilliant. I, it was, Kylie, I was totally blown with that activity. I know that's a huge thing and you won't be able to show it to us here, but yeah, I will heavy. share it on my yeah, page. It yeah, it is too heavy, but I will share it on my page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I Thank also you have so a, much. Yeah. I also have on the download called the morning exercise, which we start the oh. day with. So okay. you can download it also. It's a very fun song. You go like this and you swing from side to side. And yes. uh, it's a fun way to start the day with something, even with a nice activity like that. I know I have emailed uh, this song uh, to all the participants who have uh, registered with us. So yeah, I have mailed all these, uh, uh, a lot of uh, these songs that were there on your website to them. Great, do we have any questions? Uh, we, uh, I will just move on to questions in a minute. Uh, Kylie, if they wanna get in touch with you, they can uh, you know, uh, contact you uh, through your website. Do you want to tell oh, them yeah, about course. your website? Of course. Yeah, of course. So uh, please go ahead and uh, uh, can you uh, tell them your website address? Uh, yes, it's a felt songs at gmail.com. But when you go to the website, you just click on contact and then it will bring to me. Uh, so it's F like Frank, E L T like Tom. S like Sam, O N G S. Felt G Song that. Stories. No, yeah. but the, 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 the website is called Felt Song Stories, and yes. the email is Felt Songs plural at Gmail, right? Felt Songs at Gmail.com. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Kylie, I am uh, going to open the floor uh, to any questions uh, our participants on Zoom uh, may have. Uh, so yeah, you can type in your questions here or um, I think uh, one hour is over. So admin, you can kind of even uh, unmute the participants. So if they want to speak to Kylie, that's also possible. Yes. Um, if there are any questions, uh, we are very happy to take them. I am get, getting off live uh, right now. When do I call Kelly to Kashmir? Oh, Kylie, <laughs> when are you coming to in India? <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a traveler. <laughs> uh, 